Hey Virgo, how are you doing? Hope good. Oops. This reading is going to be for mid-month August. Basically, it's a mid-month check-in. See how things are going. Um, it will be a general reading. And let's just see what kind of energy is going to be around you for, you know, the mid-August to the end of August time frame. And um, yeah, let's just get going here. Thank you so much, angels and guides, loved ones, ancestors, and our divine. Can you please show me clearly what energy is around our Virgos mid-month, August 2021? What is the energy that they possibly can be working with, that they can use to guide themselves? Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. The Empress. Nice, Cancer had the Empress come out too. So this feels to me like Virgo, there's something that you are birthing. There is um, a new, there's something that you've been working on or someone that you've been working with um, that is coming to its fruition. Could also mean maybe you're pregnant or someone out there that you know is pregnant but it is a beautiful energy, very nurturing, very uh, rich. This card especially to me feels very luxurious. Um, yeah, so let's just continue on. So, okay, that's gorgeous energy to have to start the reading. All right, thank you so much. Let's pull some cards. So what is this that you are bringing into life. Yep. Okay, they're ready. What is this? Is this a new relationship? Is it career? What is this? Please show me clearly. Thank you so much for Virgo. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So something is because it's coming up on the Empress, I would say something is moving in a positive way for you. But we'll continue. Perhaps the Empress could be referring to, I don't know, this is just, this is just coming to me um, like a mother figure, so just keep that in mind if it applies to you. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just what they gave me, so let's see. Six of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups. Uh, it's a gorgeous card. Sixes are balanced to me, uh, you know. Um, but Six of Cups is energy from our past, from your past, someone from your past, perhaps. Maybe you're um, reminiscing about someone in your past. Let's see. Let's keep going here. Hmm. And Six of Cups is, you know, it's a it's a a joyful card, really. It is of just good good memories. Thank you so much. Okay, got the Moon and we have Death. Okay, that's some. You got three, four major arcanas out of five cards. Okay, Virgo. Page of coins on the bottom, okay. I'm going to leave it here for right now, and then we can get back into it. Because I'm getting a very strong energy. Um, Virgo, I think someone's coming back from your past into your life. Uh, a past love. And again, this isn't going to apply to everyone, so. Um, but it feels like someone's coming back from the past. Your memory, your, or your, your, uh, 
you are thinking of this person from the past. And, but there's things that have been, that were hidden in this relationship. There were things that were hidden and that I don't feel like you see, you were able to see. And it feels to me like if this person is coming back or if this is you reminiscing and remembering this person for the good, the good, the good times. The moon is coming out here to definitely state that there's been there was something hidden that you didn't see. Um, if they're coming back now, there's still something hidden. They still are keeping something hidden from you. Um, and the death coming out right beside that to me is saying I don't really feel like this is a very good. Um, I don't really think that this is going to be any different than it was in the past. Don't shoot me for being the messenger. That's just the energy I'm getting. And there's this need for you to be the empress. Um, there's this need for you to embody the empress, to be very nurturing to yourself. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna have to get more cards here, because. Uh, but I just need to say what I'm, what they're, what I'm, I'm picking up here. I don't feel like whoever this is is. It, I don't feel like this relationship is gonna be much different than it was in the past, although. For some. There may be a need, to be more. This is very. Um, it's very cloudy right now. I'm, I'm not getting a full picture. Sorry, this is uh, this is already confusing to you, I'm sure. The Empress, Nurturer, right? The Nurturer. Um, I'm not sure if they're asking you to be more kinder to someone that's coming back. And then the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is a powerful, beautiful card, but it all depends on which way it's spinning. Because it's by the Empress, I would intuitively feel that it is going to be spinning in the right direction for you, you know. Um, it can also be like Lady Luck for me as a reader. But there's something about this moon and the death beside each other and then the Six of Cups. I don't know. It's just not, there's something feeling a little off, a little bit off. So I'm going to continue. I'm just going to continue because I want to get more page of coins is on the bottom. So that is earth and that is a, a brand new idea in the tangible way or self-confidence way because I read coins, pentacles um, like that. So let me just bear with me, please, Virgo. Let's see. So I want to get a clear picture of what's going on here for you because if these are the only cards I were I was pulling out that they were giving me I would basically say to you look you stay in your strength you stay the Empress nurture yourself um, because whoever this is from the past they still are hiding something and don't be fooled use your intuition um, use your definitely use your intuition intuition and like let it die out, let it, let it really completely die. Maybe this is a relationship that has been going on and on and on. Four of Swords. Okay, so I, I, I'm picking up the right energy. Like not for all of you, but this is going to be for someone out there. Four of Swords just came out. Four of Swords is rest and recuperation after a very tough time, usually after the Three of Swords. Um, and Three of Swords is usually betrayal, right? Um, third party situations, affairs, etc. Um, and the fact that the Four of Swords has come out is saying, you know, I think that whoever this may be coming back, I'm going to ask for a clarifier on that. Um, I don't know, um, Virgo, I just kind of feel like I don't, I don't really like this energy because it feels like you're going to be back to the place you might have been in the past where you were um, hurt and wounded 
and you really needed to take some time up to recover. So, so I guess the Wheel of Fortune is indicating here whatever, what you're choosing, because there's obviously two choices. If someone's coming back into your life, someone that was once a person that you, you loved a lot, um, you got your own freedom of will. You do, you can do whatever you want to do. This is just the energy for the cards. But what they're saying to me is, you know, nothing, it, it, how it was in the past is exactly how it will be in the present or the future if you accept this person back into your life. You are, it's going to hurt again. And so therefore, then you are kind of stopping the wheel of fortune moving in, in the direction for your better, better, for your benefit. Because it, it, it can't move in that way if, it, <laughs> Do you understand? Does it make sense? I hope so. The energy I'm fe feeling right now, Virgo, for you is I feel kind of protective of you. Like, I feel like if you were like my best friend right now and someone was ringing you up or sending you messages trying to get back into your life from your past that you might have been deeply in love with at one time, I feel like the, energy, the the advice that I would be saying to you is, do you really want to go back there? Like, do you really want to open that up again? Thank you so much. Yeah, because we've got the devil. See, the devil just came out. This is toxic. This is toxic shit. This is not a good relationship. This is not a good person, male or female, whoever this is. An eight of wands, so messy. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. And the world is on the bottom of the deck. Virgo, feeling very, very protective of your energy right now. So, okay, so that's it. Th this is, that's exactly what they're wanting me to tell you. Look, whoever this is that's coming back from the past, usually it's a happy kind of card, and sweet memories, all of that kind of stuff. But it is, this, this person is attached somehow to the devil energy, maybe addictions. I want to say sex addictions because that just came in so maybe it was someone really couldn't be faithful and hid I mean this could be drugs alcohol etc gambling shopping food whatever but what they just I just seen sex sex was in, in my eyes so I feel like whoever this is whoever this is resonating with whoever this is coming back from the past I think that they had some kind of um or still have, they still have some kind of addiction that they haven't worked through. It's still hidden. They're still trying to keep it hidden. They're still trying to keep it goddamn well hidden. And, and it needs, they just need to screw off. You do not need to open yourself up to this person again, no matter what. The devil is sweet talker. Um, can sell you a bridge, you know, that doesn't even exist, that can look you square in the eyes and tell you how much they love, adore you, and would never, ever betray you. Meanwhile, they've already got one foot out of the door while they're saying that to you, while they're looking directly in your eyes. This is not an energy that is healthy, and this reading is definitely telling someone out there to stay the hell away from whoever is coming back from the past because this person is an asshole or a bitch. That's, excuse my language, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I'm feeling very, like I'm feeling my energy, the, the hair on my back is kind of standing up because I feel like I'm, I wanna just like defend you. The eight of wands, okay, so it is coming in fast. This is, yeah, it can be travel, it can be all those other things, but in this reading, in this particular reading, Virgo, this is going to be something that's coming in fast. And I think this person is a fast mover, fast talker, slick, um, probably very charismatic because you wouldn't have fallen for it for the first time anyways, if he, he or she isn't that way. But the wheel of fortune will not turn in your favor if you allow this per person back into your life. Trust your freaking inter your your intuition and trust your memories. 
The world is on the bottom of the deck. This needs to be closed out once and for all. You need to tell this person to truly screw off for good. Because you need a new beginning. And what's underneath that is a chariot. So that is like being very decisive, being in the control. You need to be in control. I can get this card. You need to be in control. You need to be the empress. You need to be the empress and the chariot. Virgo, maybe this is a water sign that you're dealing with. I mean, look, we've got, we've got, oh, okay, we've got Pisces, we've got Cancer, we've got Capricorn, we've got Scorpio, so that, there's all the water signs right there, kind of feeling like it's a water sign right now. Um, okay, so just saying, you need to be in your driver's seat because, again, Nine of Cups. You don't want to be in Nine of Cups and, sorry, Nine of Swords and Four of Swords energy again. So screw that. If this person's coming back, my advice, my guide's advice is open your eyes really big. Don't allow any fancy words or any of this, like I promise I've changed crap. And look, everyone has a, po the pens everyone has a possibility to change. I'm not saying that. And I do believe people can change, um, but mm, my guides are definitely giving me this energy that I, I would I would not go near this person. I would not open that door up again, because what will be awaiting you is going to be the four, the four of swords, which is shit. You're feeling exhausted and feeling freaking wrecked again. You don't want to go back there. This is just intense energy. It just, it's really intense energy. Um, I'm gonna get some clarifi clarifiers for you. Like my heart is kind of beating <laughs> quite, quite fast here, Virgo, because this just feels very, I think there's, there's, this is a warning, not to freak anyone out there because it's not, like I'm not, I just feel like this is some smooth talker that feels that he or she can pull the wool over your eyes again because i feel like they've done this in the past okay the deck is ready Whew. thank you so much angels and guides loved ones and ancestors and the divine what other messages can you give our virgos thank you so much So much. I expect this to be coming in pretty fast for you. They might make a phone call. They might send you a text. You know, they might even show up at your door. With all these, okay. With all these words of, hey, I love you. I never stopped loving you. You're the best thing I ever had. I've changed. I've grown. Don't fall for that shit. Devil energy. Devil is trickster. Devil keeps you bound. Devil likes to have the control and will manipulate until they get it, if they have the chance. High Priestess. Use your damn intuition, Virgo. Use it, use it, use it, use it, and trust it, trust it, trust it. My intuition guides me to the truth. Putting that right on the devil because the light needs to be shone on that. Whoever this person is, oof. I mean, we've all, the majority of us have all sometime, one time in our life or another, have had dealings with someone like that. You know, and um, I can speak for myself sometime. I, I've, I've made that mistake of, oh, you know, okay, maybe this is real and real true love and maybe this time it's meant to be. Yeah, no, no. Obviously, that doesn't happen all the time, but strength under the deck. Use your strength. Use your courage. Use your bravery. Tell them to fuck off. Okay, page of swords. Ten of wands and ten of swords. <laughs> okay. All right, Virgo. 
Page of Swords. Stay in control. You stay in control. You use your sword. You use your words. You use your intelligence. But you make it stop. You make this person go away. Don't accept. I'm just, like, look, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just feeling, like I said, I'm, I'm saying, I'm giving you what I'm getting here. And to have the Ten of Swords stabbed in the back, you know, that's that card where the person lying down almost like dead with all the card, not literally dead, but with the Ten of the Swords stuck in the back. Like, I mean, how much more painful can that get? And then you have the Ten of Wands. That's like carrying all these heavy goddamn burdens and and it's so exhausting and you don't think you can do it anymore. Now, the fact that you got the 10 twice, this can be really over. For once and for all, this can really be, I can't get these cards today. This can really be over the world. And death. The cards are saying it needs to be over. You need to be released from this. Don't let this person, whoever this is, back in. Because it, it, it just, let me just see what's underneath strength here. Six of Wands. Okay, so Six of Wands, see, so Six of Wands is taking that moment. If you do this and you tell this person to take a hike and you're not interested and you can see through the bullshit and you are not interested, then it all ends. It all goes away and you're free again. And you're, you are the empress. In your beautifulness, in your strength, in your courageousness. And six of wands under here, underneath the strength is saying, then you get a moment to say, oh my God, look at what I've done. Look at, I've accomplished this. It is a moment of you recognizing and, and giving yourself a pat on the back for not falling for this trickster a second time around. You know, I want to, I'm going to, I haven't done this for any of the other readings, um, Libra, but I'm going to pull one card from the Pearl of Wisdom. I just need to fulfill what they're asking me to do here. So, again, you have freedom of will. We all can make our own decisions. Not, none of this is bound. Um, everything can be changed. Everything can fluctuate. And this is, this is tarot readings, right? So nothing's written in stone here. But if this was me or if this was one of my closest friends or family members, man, I would be saying, oh, no, hell no, hell to the no. Keep the door closed. Because what you had in the past, you're going to have more of that in the future. And you're so smart, and you are so, um, you know, you, you don't get your, the, your, oh, if I can only speak. You're not going to fall for this again. Too intelligent. Thank you so much. Can you give me one card, please? Close this reading up for Virgo. Virgo, if this resonates with you, know you are totally, totally going to be really proud of yourself. And you are going to be sitting like that empress. And the wheel of fortune will then turn in your favor. Thank you so much. Relationships. It says, surround yourself with others who have achieved what you desire and allow their influence to inspire you. The future is positive. Yes, the future is positive. You want to be around people that are like-minded like you. You want to be around people that love true, true and give their whole heart. And, um, you know, that there is nothing to hide. There is no lies. There is no manipulation. You don't want to be around people that are like the devil energy, that are toxic, that have this need to control no matter what the cost. That's what you want. I would assume that's what you want. Not this, not this stuff. 
Use your intuition. Expect something to come in real fast, Virgo. Someone is coming back to knock on your door. And I'm going to close this reading out, but I just really want you to take a look at this energy on this card. I hope you can see it. This you don't want. Okay, Whew. Virgo, quite the read. You're going to be okay. You're going to be totally okay. And just think, if this is someone that is, I keep saying if, I mean, it is. Someone has done you some shit in the past and they think they can come back and fool you once more. Well, you know what? Think of how proud you're going to be when you just say, not this time, dude. Not time, not this time, buddy. It ain't happening. Buddy, girl, whatever. You know, because this isn't a gender specific reading. This applies to you, everyone. Um, okay, Virgo, I wish you all the blessings. And um, yeah, just use your strength. You know, just get into your strength here. Okay, Whew, all right. Take care of yourself, stay strong, stay healthy, and um, until next time, see you next time. And by the way, if this does resonate to someone out there, I would so much appreciate just a little, st if you could just leave a little comment saying, this is my story. Because I know my guides right now, like my, I'm, my body's vibrating, and I know that this is pertaining to someone out there, and um, I just want to know that this is helpful, that this information that they're giving me is helpful. So I would just greatly appreciate that so much. And I appreciate your time too. So until next time, Virgo, good luck. You got this and take care of yourself. Thanks.